are so proud of you for ending fifth grade. We are sorry this is the way you had to do it, but we know that you are strong and resilient and can persevere, just like the little mouse in my videos I used to show you in third grade. Um, we hope nothing but the best for you. We love this group. We know you're strong and we can't wait to see all the wonderful things you're going to do in the future. Um, we will miss you and we wish you the best of luck. Yeah, you guys are such fun, caring, creative kids. I would remember some of the poems you would write, the artwork you would make, and just how kindly you treated one another. And I know you'll continue to do that in sixth grade. Um, we had fun in Color Guard this year, even though that got cut short. We still learned a lot. And enjoyed that. And there were several of you every day who would stop by each morning and give me a hug, hug or wave on your way into fifth grade. And that was just the best start to my day. And I'm going to miss that, and I'm going to miss you. Hey, fifth grade. This is Mrs. Cogdell. I want to congratulate you on finishing strong in this historical um, time. You are living history, and no other fifth grade class can say they ended their fifth grade year like this. You are making history and making memories. I want to wish you the best of luck in middle school. This is, you're ending a chapter, but opening a new chapter, and it's going to be amazing. So, always do your best, always be kind, and just do what makes you happy. Hey, fifth grade. What a crazy way to end the year. It's Mr. Loshi. I am definitely going to miss this group. One thing I'm going to miss is throwing dodgeballs at you. Ah, but hey, on a serious note, this has been an awesome group, in fact. Real quick, wanted to tell the story of whenever Elsie was in preschool and we were trying to decide what we were going to do. We decided that I would start to interview. I got a job here at Lafayette Meadows and Elsie began as a kindergartner. And now to see this group that she's been in school with for the last six years now go on to sixth grade is unbelievable. I want to let you know that you make an impact every day in the things that you do, with the things that you say, the way you treat other people. Be reminded of that as you go to Summit. Surround yourself with good people, good friends, and just know that you will be deeply missed here at Lafayette Meadows, but we know you have a bright future ahead of you. Hi, fifth grade. We're so sorry that the year ended the way that it did with you, but we want to know, let you know how special you are to all of us especially a certain someone named Kendall. I'm gonna miss all of you so much. Um, your class is a wonderful class and we wish you all the best. I want to say I want you to remember to have fun at whatever you choose to do and don't forget to do some push-ups. It was nice sharing the wing with you and getting to know some of you. Good luck in middle school. Hey, fifth graders, I know I didn't have you in fourth grade, but I had several of you all the way back in first grade. And yes, I do remember all of those fun, amazing times that we had. I know you're going to enjoy middle school and uh, do amazing things in life and grow up to be amazing. Take care, all. <laughs> fifth graders, always remember that you can do anything if you just work hard. We are going to miss you so much. Keep smiling. Have so much fun at Summit next year. Gonna miss you. Bye. Hi, fifth grade friends. This is second grade coming to you to tell you a few things that we hope you remember. I hope that you always remember to have fun and laugh a lot. I hope you remember to stay organized and determined. Remember to be kind to everybody that you see in the hallways. You never know who's gonna become your friend. Make sure you practice your locker code over and over so you're ready to go. And as you leave Lafayette Meadows, take our pledge with you. Remember to be respectful, responsible, and safe. Good luck! Good luck! Miss you! Hi, fifth graders. A few of you I have known since the day you were born. Others I met when you were five. Some of you I've met just this year and I have enjoyed every minute. I hope that you guys have had a great time at Lafayette Meadows and carry on the things that we have taught you on to middle school and further into life. I hope that you stay active and enjoy exercise. I hope that you enjoy your middle school experience and make sure that you remember that we are always here for you no matter how old you are. 
It has been a pleasure watching you grow and mature into the children that you are today. There is no doubt in my mind that you are ready for middle school, and you will do awesome. You will make new friends, and you will do great things. I will miss every single one of you. And remember, this is not a goodbye. It is just see you later. Hi, fifth grade. So, first of all, happy end of your fifth grade year. How exciting it is for you to get to go on to middle school next year. I know that you're part sad, part excited. Maybe a little more on one day and a little other on the other day. I don't know. I'm sure it's a little of both. I know we are going to miss you. I can speak for myself and all the special areas teachers because we have the unique perspective of getting to watch you grow up. Um, the majority of you have been here for a couple of years, and even if you just joined us this year, we've really enjoyed getting to know you and watch you grow and change throughout the years. Especially some of you who uh, came in in kindergarten, you know, picking your nose and crying for mom. Now you're big kids, right? Taller than me and doing your own thing, and I love it. I love getting to watch you grow that way. So, I would really like to be sitting here right now talking about how much fun we had with the musical and thank you for making sets with me and, and boy, Fine Arts Day was out of this world this year, and but we can't. It didn't happen, but you will never forget this year. So, there's always an upside. We always got to look for the silver lining, right? So, even though all of that stinks, uh, please remember that all of us teachers are thinking about you the whole time, especially fifth grade, because we know how special this year is for you and... Boy, I would really love to next week be standing in the hallway giving you that high five, but please know that in my heart and mind, I am doing that, okay? And I really, really genuine, genuinely love all of you, and I've had a tremendous time watching you create and grow and use your imagination. That is a really cool thing for me to get to see. Often people ask me who my favorite artist is, and I have my favorites, but Deep, down deep, my favorite artist is you. I love watching kids create. Like That is one of the reasons why I went into elementary education because you don't have any constraints on your imagination and, and, and you don't start to think like, oh, I can't do that because the world is yours when you're in elementary school and you're fearless. And I hope that you keep that because every single one of you is an artist. You may not be the best drawer or painter or sculptor, but there's something out there that is in your wheelhouse whether it's poetry or creative writing or, gosh, maybe you're a metalsmith and you just don't know it yet because you haven't been exposed to those tools. There is something. Everybody has a creative part in them. So I hope that I've exposed you to enough things that you have that interest and you have that natural curiosity to keep exploring in the arts. And next year, you're going to love Mrs. Nicholson at Summit. She does some super cool projects. You're going to love her. And I hope you enjoy art in middle school because you get a lot more time in the art room, which is super cool. Um, next, speaking of Summit, when you go to Summit, I'll be there. My daughter will still be there next year, so you'll see me, and I will wave to you, and I will say hi, and I ask that you say hi back to me, even if you're a little embarrassed because now you're a cool middle schooler, because if you don't say hi back to me, I will follow you and I will create a really big scene and embarrass you. Look at these crazy eyes, you know it's true. So, please, if Mrs. Old Mrs. McKeever says hi to you, at least give me that nod. I'm too cool for you, but I'll give you a nod anyway, all right? Please keep creating, please keep drawing, painting, writing, dancing, singing, whatever art it is that makes your heart feel bigger, and keep in contact with me. I'm always here for you if you have an art question you just want to stop in and say hi or email me, whatever. I will miss you. I really, really will miss you. And thank you. And I have to give a special shout out to all of you McKeever minions who came in on your recess and helped me. And you know who you are. There are some frequent flyers this year, and I really appreciate it. I couldn't do what I do without those little secret helpers that come in on your recess. So thank you. I love you all. Best of luck, okay? Okay, bye. Hi, fifth graders, the kindergarten team here at Lafayette Meadows. Hi, fifth grade. I'm wishing you the best of luck in middle school. I know you're going to do awesome, and we're going to miss you. Hello, fifth graders. Awesome achievement. You guys are off to great things. Keep taking pride in your work. I remember when you walked in that door when you were a kindergartner, and you were smiling and a little bit nervous, but you 
flourished that entire year. We made lots of fun memories. We had, we went on a field trip and a fun day and we had Fish's wishes at the end of the year. You're going to do great. You have great expectations. We have great expectations for you. Fifth graders, you are awesome as kids are gardeners and you're going to be awesome going forward. We're so proud of you. We loved watching you grow up at Lafayette Meadows and you are off to great things. So we love you. Hugs and uh, great wishes. All right, fifth graders, have an awesome time at Summit. We're going to miss you so much, but just know that we're always thinking about you and we love you guys and we're so proud of you. Hi, Lafayette Meadows fifth graders soon to be Summit 6th graders. Um, we are going to miss you guys so much, all of you. Um, you guys were actually my very first kindergarten class when I started at Lafayette Meadows. You were the first group of kiddos um, that I met there in kindergarten and it's been amazing to watch all of you grow and learn and um, many of you who have moved into our school throughout these past few years who didn't start in kindergarten, just watching you become part of your part of our Lafayette Meadows family and um, make friends and settle in. And even all of our students who came to us this year from Covington, it's been amazing to watch all of you just make new friends and and transition into the swing of a new school. It was amazing how well all of you did with a huge change. Um, and watching you guys doing your e-learning these last few weeks, um, you know, again, I just see how flexible and strong and resilient all of you are. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful group of kids and we are gonna miss you guys so much, but I wish you the best and I know you will do amazing things in middle school and high school and beyond. So make sure you tell us how you're doing and um, say hi or reach out and we will miss you very much. Have an amazing time this summer and have a wonderful sixth grade year at Summit. Alright, hi fifth grade. We wish we could be um, at school in person to wish you happy trails and good luck with everything but we will miss you so much um make sure to be positive Hi, fifth graders. Sorry we can't be together. We wish you the best of luck next year. I wish I could have had more time to see you guys since I've been gone since January. Stay happy, stay healthy. You got this. All right, Miss Holman, take it away. Fifth graders, you've learned lots at Lafayette Meadows. Being respectful, responsible, and safe. It's time for you to let your wings soar at Summit Middle School. Best wishes to all of you. Mrs. Ludwig. Fifth graders, I remember teaching many of you in first grade, and it's been fun watching you grow up over the years at Lafayette Meadows. So I wish you the best of luck in middle school. You're going to be awesome. Hey, fifth graders, I know I didn't really get a chance to know you, but I've loved seeing you in the hallways, being a leader for my like first graders, um, and I know you're going to do the same thing to show awesome leadership in middle school. And I can't wait to see what, what that does for you. Fifth graders, in a short few months, you will be entering sixth grade. Where did the time go? I know many of you since you were in kindergarten. I want to send you off with a few words of encouragement. Here are some important words from Maya Angelou. Do the best you can until you know better. Then when you know better, do better. Middle school will come with highs and lows. You will get to determine how you want your middle school to play out. You will find friends that are good for you. And one thing I always told my girls is good people can make wrong choices. But I wonder if you were the one who stood up against other people's actions and continue to do what you knew was right, 
What if you led others to continue to do what was right? At Lafayette Meadows, we say respectful, responsible, and safe. Those are words that hold true throughout your life. Again, I want to encourage you to be the one in a crowd that sticks out. You can be the one who leads others to do what is respectful, responsible, and safe. I want you to have fun in middle school. I want you to explore all that middle school has to offer. Try new things, meet new people, have fun, and work hard. I will miss all of you, and I want to wish all of you the best of luck. Hi, LME kids. Mr. Bob, I just have one thing to say to you. You are the future of the world, and I want to quote a song. You're going to need your dark sunglasses because your future's so bright that you got to wear shades. Hang loose. Hi, LME fifth graders. This is uh, Mrs. Lovar, one of your uh, recess monitors, also known as Ethan L's mom from Mrs. Smith's class. I just wanted to say I uh, have missed you guys, and I wish you the best of luck at middle school. Uh, since you know I am a mom of a fifth grader, if you see me, if we cross paths, please say hi. I'd love to hear from you. Have a good summer. Hey, fifth graders. Um, it's Mrs. Williams here, and I just want you to know that um, I have loved, loved, loved watching you grow as you've been here at Lafayette Meadows Elementary School. Some of you um, I've seen since kindergarten. It's amazing. You've not only grown physically, like smiling at you and saying good morning in the hallway, and you're just getting taller every single year, which is amazing, but you have also grown so much as as readers and writers. So every time I was able to come into a classroom and talk to you about a book you were reading and you were sharing your enthusiasm with me, just made my heart happy. And every time I got to hear or read one of your stories, my heart was happy. So I'm gonna miss you, but I know that you're gonna continue to grow as readers and writers throughout your life. So thank you for sharing all of your thinking and your smiles with me over this last maybe six years. Each of you will be missed and as you start your new adventure I'm rooting for you and cheering for you. Oh friends, I'm so proud of you. I feel like this is just the beginning and it's not the end and I will miss you. Lafayette Meadows will miss you and Summit will be so lucky to get to know you. I love you. <laughs> so remember, you are amazing. You are brave. You are strong. Bye. Hey guys. It's been so much fun getting to know you guys over the past few years. When I started at Lafayette Meadows, you guys were in second grade, if you can believe it. And I knew then and there what a talented group of musicians you were. I could see it even at that young age, and now you have just blossomed over the past several years into truly talented individuals. And um, I'm telling you, only a group like you guys could pull off a virtual musical. I don't know if I would have asked that of any other group, so I'm so proud of you guys. So proud of you. Um, I will miss you very much, and so please come back and say hi, you know, when you're in middle school. And speaking of middle school, while you're there, please think about choir, band, or orchestra so you can keep that music going. And uh, I'll miss you guys and have a wonderful summer and I hope I get to see you again soon. Hi fifth graders. Uh, it has been a true joy getting to know many of you over the last few years at LME. I know that you're on your way to a really cool journey. I taught middle school for a long time, and so I want to just share some advice. Don't be afraid of asking questions to your teachers. 
when you first get there, there's going to be plenty of people helping with lockers and navigating the building. So don't even worry about it. The most important thing is don't lose the kindness and that sense of childlike innocence that you have right now. Because sometimes people think when they go from elementary to middle school, all of a sudden they have to act really mature and be something that they're not just to fit in. And that's not the case. You be you, you be loving, and you be kind to everybody, and you're going to be just fine. I'm really going to miss you. Good luck. Hello, Lafayette Meadows 5th graders. We are so excited to be able to send you our well wishes and to just say not goodbye, but see you later. We know that this has been a really challenging year, but you, probably more than any other class, have had more opportunities to show that you have been resilient problem solvers and that you are able to take what life has thrown at you and you've been able to keep moving forward. We are so proud of you. Okay, fifth graders, I want you to know that we think you are so awesome. You truly are. So as you go into middle school, just be yourself. Don't try to be someone else. Because next thing you know, you find yourself amongst a bunch of people that you don't really truly feel comfortable with. Make sure you have lots of fun, you dream big, dream big and you make really good choices. And as I always have told my class all year long, continue to find those silver linings. And everything that seems like it's difficult or hard, there's always something good. And we've had to do that over the last couple months. So, stay strong. Okay, fifth grade, we are so proud of how much you have grown just in the last nine weeks. You've all really stepped up your level of responsibility, and that's only going to carry with you as you move on to Summit. Make sure that you are staying organized, keeping track of all your assignments, and always remember to smile at new friends. As you walk through the hall, a smile will inspire other smiles and continue to make your day and the person you smile at. Lafayette Meadows Eagles, every morning when we say the pledge together, we always recite that we are respectful, we are responsible, and we are safe. Remember that when we're being respectful, oftentimes showing respect to others will gain you the respect that you so desire, not only from your friends, but from your teachers as well. And when we think about being responsible, being responsible not only keeps your teachers in middle school happy, it keeps your parents happy, and it gives you a sense of accomplishment and pride. And then when we think about being safe, I want you to always make sure that you're safe and making good choices, but don't be so safe that you forget to be a risk taker. Sometimes taking risks and trying something new can grow you in ways that you never imagined. But overall, we want you to know that all four of us are so very proud of you and so excited to send you on to middle school. You are ready. Congratulations from your fifth grade teachers. Your biggest Bye. cheerleaders. We want to congratulate you on a successful fifth grade year that you will remember for the rest of your life. Oh my gosh, I gotta redo that? What the heck? Okay, blooper, bloopers. All right. I'm going to see, we're just going to keep rolling, and then we're going to see if Jim can edit the video. Or maybe he can't. I don't know. Hang on. Just hang on. Remember, just to be yourself. Don't try to be someone else to fit in, because you know what? Next thing you know, you're amongst a group of people that you don't feel comfortable Stick with your flaws. Have oh my Keep going, Mrs. Paul. Just... Keep going! Oh my goodness! Bloopers 2.0! Oh!